Hi YouTubers, this is Bob. Well, it's so good to be back with you guys today. Well, I'm going to do a special reading today for one of my subscribers. Her name is Danny, and she's out of the UK, and uh, her YouTube account name is Abominable Angel. And she's asked me to make this video public for everybody. Um, and so I hope that um, if you're listening and the messages also ring true for you, that you'll take my uh, words to heart and know that uh, you're being guided as well. Okay, before we get into that though, give me just a moment and let me attune to the spirit world. Okay, Fletcher's here. He says, hi to you, Danny. Okay, you know, <clears throat> Danny, as I'm stepping forward here into your vibration. Uh, I'm getting around you right now um, a very kind of wide band of dark, dark blue light. And that light is what I call the light of depression. And that's the light of where um, it's like all your energy stuck right now. Now, that when you're in that dark blue band, it feels like, you know, there's no change. It's the end of the road. But listen, what I see as a psychic is beyond what you're experiencing. Right now, you're feeling that dark blue light energy, which makes everything just feel impossible. But around that light, I also pick up here a lot of beautiful uh, golden light and silver light. And when I see those colors around people, that means new beginning, new opportunities here. And I really want you just to hang on, okay? Yes, I, I can say from a psychic perspective, I do see a clinical depression around you. And I'm so glad that you are working with the doctor, okay? So I want you to keep working with your doctor. Now, one of the things that I'd like you to ask your doctor to look at is also your, blood, um, your body's iron levels. Because I pick up here an imbalance in the energy that is not just from the medicine, but is also related to a dietary issue and you may need to have your iron levels looked at okay because I see that also being an important factor here uh, in your healing okay now the other thing Fletcher's over here he's talking away and he says please tell her not to give up okay there is a lot of people around you right now from the spirit world oh my goodness if you knew how many people are pulling for you you've got around you uh, I'm seeing four different spirit guides right now and uh, one of them is by the name of Ariel. That's an angel that you've got around you. And Ariel is this tall, beautiful being. He's, he's uh, dressed in beautiful purple and silver robes. He's giant wings. He looks like an archangel. But he's here around you. Uh, I get him as well. Now, I also get around you another spirit guide. Um, and I want to call the name Myrna. Myrna. Now, Myrna was a sister to you from a previous life, and I believe one of your lives was in Greece. And it was interesting is when you were in Greece, you were very gifted as a psychic. So Myrna is around you to help you open your psychic senses. So she's asking me to tell you that she's here as well. I also get around you um, my spirit guy, Rose, and Rose is here and she's asking me to tell you to, um, she's going to be helping you find a little more peace as well. So she's with you. And Fletcher's asking me to tell you that Edgar Casey is also guiding you. Now, what's interesting about this is that um, I see you getting some books about Edgar Casey, or you're doing some reading about Edgar Casey, And I'd like you to start going back and researching him because uh, he's been around you for about the last two years. And I do see him being an influence as well, okay? So listen, you are not alone. Now, what's so very important also that we have to remember here is that um, feelings are transient, okay? We may feel like we're at the end of our rope, but the truth is we're also given help to hold on. I don't want you to do anything drastic. You know... Now, you know you're psychic yourself, so you know I'm not lying. If you were to commit suicide, that's not going to get you anywhere. Oh, you know, spirit does not lie. When you get over the spirit world, let me tell you, 
there is you think you got problems now oh no in the spirit world when you commit suicide there are problems like you cannot imagine because you have to face all the counsel and give an account for all your actions and then after that you have to see all your friends and family in suffering and you have to go through every step of grieving with them and you know it doesn't really get you anywhere because they're going to make you come back and redo another life with all the same conditions and the same patterns and to see if you can get through the next one without going that route so actually the next life's even harder because you don't really get a rest between lifetimes so you're entering already tired so I want you just to continue hun, to work with your doctor and ask them to check your iron levels because that's going to be an important part of your healing as well now you know I also as I was telling you around you I get that beautiful gold and silver light in the R and I love that because gold light is what I call the light of opportunity and this is when the gold light comes in around us this is where all the energy starts to shift and change and I really see here over the next two to three weeks um, a new vibration entering into your art field which is the golden light and the silver light also indicates there's going to be a little more money coming into the household so I believe that you guys will be seeing a little extra cash also okay so listen you're on the right path um, but you want to hang in there and I want to encourage you to keep your spiritual practice up you know praying is a wonderful thing uh, meditating is a wonderful thing and all those things we do raise our vibration I also predict here around you that there's going to be some travel coming for you here um, and it looks like it's around the new year because I see as we go into January here um, you being near a seashore and it looks like a wonderful time so I do believe there's a there's a beach trip here coming for you and uh, you know I just want you to be ready for that okay now there's also here around you Fletcher keeps telling me he says to let you know he says that um, this last year um, is the last year that you go through all of this now what's very interesting is you've been in a very strong position here um, of doing a lot of fluctuations there's on your spirit chart there's a lot of ups and a lot of downs this last year um, but I see as we go forward here into the fall and into next year a greater evening out of the emotions and the moods and I really do think that you are going to be finding yourself in a place of um, feeling much more in control a lot more at peace you know um, I've seen uh, other people as well who have suffered with um, severe depression issues and you know a lot of people around you might say oh we'll just get over it. it's not that easy you listen I understand but I also know as a psychic that you have at your disposal wonderful gifts of healing energy and I'm going to be sending healing energy to you as well so um, and uh, Danny I also want you to know that you are not alone uh, since I got your letter a few days ago I have been burning a spiritual power candle for you you can see it's a spiritual power and this candle has been going uh, for the last few days for you and so I want you to know that I'm here and I'm sending blessing and power your way for healing and um, this candle just so you know it's a black candle and the reason why it's black it's not that it's evil it's that it takes all the negative energy uh, and absorbs it and it releases positive vibrations so this candle is on my altar and it is burning for you and I put your name on a piece of paper that sits under it on the altar so you are with me and anybody out there who practices candle magic um, perhaps if you'd like to join this ritual for Danny and burn a black candle for her and ask it that she be blessed and strengthened listen hun I see around you so much blessing coming and you know I really see your relationship also picking up here because I do feel that uh, your marriage is going to get improved and it really looks like as we go into October that there's a lot of um, more lightness of being around your husband and you know your kids love you I know they don't always express it but they really do well 
Danny, thank you for letting me read for you. I hope this has helped you. And uh, guys, keep watching. I'll be bringing some more videos this week.